It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today on a Friday. We have made it to the end of yet another week and we're making it a masterpiece Friday that was delayed by a week. We we were supposed to do some Queen music last Friday, but instead I chose to take the opportunity to pay tribute to Christine McVie who had passed away last week. And so this week I am pleased to look at some concert footage from Queen's live tour uh, at Wembley Stadium in 1986. We're gonna look at three songs from that tour stop. Uh, we're gonna include One Vision, Tie Your Mother Down, and Who Wants to Live Forever. So this performance was part of their uh, The Magic tour that they put on to support their new album that year called A Kind of Magic. And this was their first album uh, since Conquering the World at Live Aid uh, the year previously in 1985. And this album also kind of served as an unofficial soundtrack uh, for the movie Highlander, the, the sci-fi classic that was also uh, released in 1986. And so this, uh, the Magic Tour uh, came to Wembley Stadium, uh, where they had performed so uh, awesomely uh, the year before for, for Live Aid. And uh, they came to Wembley on uh, two nights, July 11th and 12th of 1986. And that concert was professionally recorded for both video and audio live release. And I don't know why it took so long for it to come out, y'all. The, the VHS release of this, uh, which uh, left out nine tunes, uh, was released in 1990, uh, four years later. The full audio uh, CD of the concert was released two years later in 1992. That's after Freddie died. Uh, and then finally, the full DVD uh, release of the live uh, concert uh, wasn't released until 2003. And uh, sadly, uh, this uh, tour would be the last live appearances uh, in concert that Freddie Mercury would make uh, the, uh, with Queen. Uh, the next month, on uh, August 9th in Nebworth, England, um, you know, was the last night of the tour, and Queen gave their last show. Uh, with Freddie on that particular night. And, you know, by the spring of the next year, Freddie was officially diagnosed as uh, having AIDS. And uh, the band would go on to release The Miracle in 1989 uh, and Innuendo in early 1991 before Freddie uh, passed on uh, November 24th of 1991. It's hard to believe it's been over 30 years since uh, we lost Freddie, but uh, we have uh, footage like this to remind us of just how great the band was in their classic heyday. And so let's get to it, y'all. We've got Freddie on lead vocals, and uh, I don't think he plays piano on this particular uh, set of three pieces, uh, but he's plays piano in the show, and then he's on guitar some and percussion. Brian May is on guitars and keyboards and backing vocals. Roger Taylor is on the drums, percussion, and backing vocals, and John Deacon is on the bass. So let's get started. Uh, I have a, um, a video that I believe is the opening of the show. It's one vision and it goes directly into Tie Your Mother Down. So let's take a look at Queen doing their thing live in 1986 at Wembley Stadium. Off we go. Look at them go. know this one, right? Classic riff. I can only imagine what it was like to be in the crowd just, just bouncing the whole time. Five, 
They're in D, but now they're down on A, and it's just this longer dominant up to subtonic to C. And they get back to D. Right? Love that dominant prolongation, and then they switch it to modal, and they go to subtonic, which is a um, an alternate sort of dominant sound if you want to get into modality. So this is conceived, the song, by uh, Roger Taylor, and uh, the lyrics are inspired by the life and the words of Martin Luther King Jr. One vision. Laps in. A little breakdown here. Love it. I wonder if they still sell that kind of jacket that Freddy's got on. I wonder if they've got it in Yeti sizes. To wear that. Again, it's a solo um, up by half step. They were on five. Now back to that five over over that long A chord. Okay, my favorite part. <laughs> By half step. Up by another minor third. Okay. They're just transitioning up by a whole step. We're gonna transition to the next tune. You know, it's interesting, they did all of that motion between the two songs. The first one's in D, the second one's in A, but they were hanging out on that A chord at the end of the last tune. And they didn't have to go anywhere. They did all of that for show. Now to that five, down to D. Similar chord progression, down to that five, then flat seven to one. The four, the one. This is not a new song, right? Off the new album, Tie Your Mother Down, classic from their 1976 album, A Day at the Races. This one was written by Brian, and this was their opening number uh, for a lot of years and a true fan favorite. I've 
got a sweetheart in hand to put a stop to all that sniping and grousing going on all night. <laughs> Such a cheeky song. Yeah, it goes to that, just like the last song, goes from the 5 to the flat 7 before it goes back to 1. Kind of a bluesy rock and roll approach to harmony. There's the 5. Hmm. Your love tonight. <laughs> what a great start to a show. I mean, if you're not up on your feet and just enjoying yourself after the first two tunes that we've heard here. I don't know what show that can get it going for you. I mean, come on. Yeah. They gave Freddie a big stage to walk around on. Awesome. So before we go to the next uh, video and, and the next song, I want to talk a little bit about these. So uh, first, tie your mother down. Uh, Brian had come up with the main riff to that uh, while he was still working on his PhD. And he was playing... Uh, around with it one morning and just kind of saying tie your mother down <laughs> which he considered to be a joke of a line at the time just kind of a placeholder until something else can happen and I can understand that you're coming up with the riff and just like just words that sort of fit in that pattern sort of come to you right but Freddie uh, liked it and encouraged uh, keeping it and so we get this cheeky tune about just wanting some privacy with your special someone although um you know uh, consention you know consenting adults friends come on uh, don't uh, <laughs> don't be like that so <laughs> if we go back to uh, one vision the line at the end of that I never knew what this was really about I never paid attention but I had heard the song you know growing up and I just knew it as hey is this the one at the end where we get to yell fried chicken <laughs> and uh, indeed it is it's also a joke of a line that stays I love their sensibility that these uh, plays that the, the, they're just having fun sometimes and like yeah that's that's good enough it's gonna stick the line at the end should be one vision but instead fried uh, Freddie says fried chicken and uh, you know that song is sort of based on uh, Martin Luther King's vision of of bringing the world together and I don't know what's better to bring about world peace or to bring people together than a good uh, plate of fried chicken. That's that's the best diplomacy I think we can come up with. <laughs> let's uh, let let's finish it off, y'all. Later in this concert, they uh, performed "Who Wants to Live Forever," and I love this tune. I've heard it several times, uh, and um, I just wanted to include it uh, here as we uh, include music off of this concert. This is a power ballad that was written by Brian uh, for inclusion in the uh, Highlander 
film, and uh, it's also included on their 86 album, A Kind of Magic. Uh, on the album, the band was backed up by an orchestra with orchestrations from Michael Kamen. Uh, in the movie version of this, Freddie sings all of the vocals, but on the album uh, version, Brian sings lead on the first verse. And I think uh, in here, uh, Freddie's going to sing all of it, uh, but uh, we shall soon find out for sure. So this is Who Wants to Live Forever, also from uh, Wembley Stadium in 1986. Off we go. This is a new song written by Brian. This is called Who Wants to Live Forever. Hmm. It's a Yamaha DX7. Pretty sound. There's no time for us. Slips away from us. Power, power vocal, even when it's intimate. sequel going up to the relative minor to D minor. interesting chord that they go to the end in D that interesting chord that they went to was an A flat chord I'm pretty sure and 
so like some of it, they were in the relative major in F. Uh, and uh, when they were on the five chord, the C chord, that I heard that C still in the chord, and I and it's the third of that A flat chord. That 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 weird note in the bass, I think, was an A flat, which sets it up to be a tritone away from the D where it landed. Uh, fascinating little uh, piece there from uh, from Brian and impeccably sung uh, by Freddie. Man, oh man, I remember. Uh, in the movie, uh, y'all, uh, in Highlander, uh, this uh, uh, song features uh, pretty uh, prominently. Um, it's sort of a love theme. Um, you know, our Highlander in that um, in that movie. No spoilers if you haven't seen it, but this crowd, I'm pretty sure sure y'all have seen it. Um, you know, Highlander, our, our Highlander has come to terms uh, with the fact that he is uh, an immortal and uh, that his wife is not. And he observes her growing older and dying uh, while he stays the same age. And this is a really touching subplot in the movie that's uplifted by this really powerful uh, tune. And uh, I... Every time I see clips of them uh, in, in concert, it makes me just absolutely wish that the flux capacitor was real and I could go back in time to the mid-80s and check these guys out uh, in their prime because I was way too young to understand it or appreciate it in real time back in the day. Uh, the, you know, Queen's recordings are, uh, are great and historic. Uh, but the live performances, uh, there's just something about the energy that uh, just comes through the footage that you could tell was just palpable uh, there uh, in, in the crowd and on stage and just in the spirit of, of what they were doing. Fascinating and awesome, and I always enjoy getting back to music by Queen. It was delayed a little bit, but we got to it, and I am happy to have gotten to it with y'all. We listened to One Vision, Tie Your Mother Down, and Who Wants to Live Forever, performed by Queen live at Wembley Stadium as part of the Magic Tour in 1986. Awesome to spend some of my Friday with y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time on another edition of the Daily Doug.